Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about my Class C RV project. I added an EG4 3 kilowatt off grid power inverter to my RV two weeks ago, and it's been working pretty well. Now I don't have to fire it up my generator every time I want to use my microwave or power up other 110 appliances. Currently, my RV has two power sources one is from inverter I just installed. And the other is the old generator that's come with the RV. I like to repurpose the uh, the onboard generator. It's an Onan QG4000 to be able to charge the battery. So they require some rewiring. The EG4 menu stated that it supports generator input. I've tested with the inverter generator. I just have I have no idea if it's work, gonna work with the Onan. Well, let me show you how I rewire the generator so we can test this thing now, see if the uh, EG4 uh, 3000 model worked with the Onan generator. What you're looking at right now is the controller inside the RV. The orange wires are from the generator and the gray wire goes to the outside. I'm just going to temporarily rewire this to prove that it works before I permanently wire this up. So the goal of this project is to rewire the generator. So the inverter can be powered by shore power and generator power with the automatic transfer switch. All right, now you see the gray wire coming under the floor. And I, I basically just uh, connect to the plug and connect back to the RV shore power and that uh, shore power is rewired already rewired connect to the um, the inverter to that metal box inside that metal box so once I power up the generator it should power up the inverter and to charge the battery today I just want to prove the Onan generator works with the EG4 inverter let's go inside turn on the generator see if it works all right let's, let's, let's just prime this prime the generator okay now the generator started let's let's go outside Let's see if this works. Okay, see this flashing? Oh, now we just switch to AC bypass. Uh, and it's charging. Currently I set it to charge at 40 amps. Let me see if I can. Here's the battery, 40 amps. So it's charging at 40 amps with no issue. Let's go inside the RV. Uh, my microwave still works. Let's see if I can turn on the AC. I don't know. I might be pushing it. Uh, what is it? So right now we're charging at 40 amps. So that's a that is 2,000 watt. Okay. <laughs> it is running. I'm going to turn it off. Uh, I think we're pushing. We're overloading the generator, but it still runs. Okay. Still works. Let's see if it's still charging. Oh, it's fully charged now. <laughs> Let's just stop. All right, here's your answer. One 
thing I forgot. One thing I forgot to show you guys is the um You have to set this program number three to generator. There's other options like appliance, UPS and generator. I can show you probably if I switch to I'm sorry. It's kind of cramp here. I'm gonna switch to other mode. Say appliance mode. Did you see that? Uh, did you just see that? I shut off the bypass mode. Come back to initialize again. Just give a sec. Now bypass. And charging. And got disconnect. So you have to make sure that you set this to generator mode. In order for this to work properly. All right. You see, I just switch on the bypass and it's charging the battery. And it'll stay on. All right, here's your answer. The EG4 3000 will work with the Allnan 4000 generator. Hopefully this chart will help you understand what I'm trying to do. On the left is my current setup. So when I install my inverter, I put in between the short power, the uh, the plug, the outlet, uh, with the short power coming in and the automatic switch. But the problem with this setup is that um, I'm not fully utilized the generator power. Um, the generator power right now uh, can power the RV when the inverter is down. Um, I think the better, more, more practical setup is that to move the inverter behind the automatic switch. So it looked like this one on the right. So, um, so whenever uh, the inverter needs to charge, it can either charge from the short power or it can be charged by the generator in case it needed. Because you know, the solar is never reliable if you have cloudy day and um, your battery is just run low and you just don't have a way to charge, um, then you can just power up the generator if it needed. Since it's 4,000 uh, 4, watt, it should be, uh, I only have a five kilowatt battery in my RV, which is, I th personally I think is plenty for my need. And the four kilowatt generator should be able to, um, you know, fully charge from zero to 100% um, in less than two hours. Uh, I think this design is more practical and can fully utilize the generator. Alright, that's all. Thank you for watching. Bye.